Next up is our cameraman, John Rhodes. Hello there. Um, this poem, I, I just changed the name of it. I didn't like the name of it. But it, it was written in response to uh, the poem that Joyce Jenkins read, one of the poems that Joyce Jenkins read last Berkeley Poetry Festival. She read a poem about being 86 from the uh, Cafe Mediterranean. And uh, as she was reading it, I remembered that I was right there in the street when it happened. So, so I decided to write a poem about it. So uh, the poem, I guess, is entitled at the moment, Joyce Jenkins. I, years ago alone, would walk homeless with the repressed emotions of a hoot owl peering at moody people in the masses like a man on the moon. I walked the streets barren of emotions, much like the barren moon. I remember the goon I met who offered me a knot in which to tie myself up in. It was an eternal knot. I remember back then the day I paid for my passport to the moon at High Berkeley noon as a well-known po Berkeley poet was 86 from a cafe. She came up to me with a poem she had been writing. Why she was looking for, com for comfort from homeless me was hard to say. I listened closely to her with my listening knee. She mumbled about tattoos in the flower cellar who she had also looked for defense from. It was hot that afternoon, which seemed to bend her mind as she tried to keep the world at bay. Even in my own incompetence, I could see her fumbling for words, trying to find defense for me in my moon eyes. She didn't see that I was up a tree. Even lonely me saw her self-doubt. But then she turned away from the moon in my eyes and went on her earthy, earthly ways. How, I don't know. I had often looked in my loneliness at poets in the window of the bookstore where this lady had worked trying, like a newspaper reported, to understand the how, where, and why, but the street poets in the windows looked like statues. I would, it would take many years walking on this moonscape to realize that it was their feet, not history before them, that kept them standing, and that was all they needed. Perhaps that lady poet saw that day her reflection in the moon, in my moon eyes, which echoed a message back to her soul, beseeching her to not walk like me on the barren moon astray. What she saw that awoke her from her sleep, I am not able to say. Perhaps she saw in my moon eyes that in truth, even the homeless pray. Thank you. <laughs> 